Good morning, happy Saturday morning to everybody. Um, there is no royal family video for number three. Instead, you guys are gonna wanna listen to number three because I took all of your complaints, all of them, to YouTube, and I actually have their responses in writing. You're, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So let's jump in with this video though because Harry and Meghan are going on tour. You don't wanna miss this. Let's go. Well, it was inevitable. The articles are coming out. Harry and Meghan have announced plans for a royal tour. It is not a royal tour. They are not working royals. Now, this is where it gets interesting. They are going to visit Colombia because, of course, Colombia is not dangerous at all. <laughs> oh, my God. They have been invited, it's being said, by the vice president of Colombia to visit the capital, Bogota, and sp Pacific regions Cartagena and Cali in November. Now their visit, they're saying, is going to focus on cyberbullying, online exploitation, and the mental health impact of these threats, which is apparently they're claiming this is the cause that Harry and Meghan have been working on since they stepped down in 2020. The, the truth of the matter is they, they jumped on every bandwagon from Vax Live to whatever, and they found something that finally stuck. That's what it is. Apparently, they've got multiple destinations and activities lined up. And the vice president of Colombia released a statement that reads, and I'm quoting, as the vice president of Colombia and minister of equality and equity, I am pleased to announce that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have kindly accepted my invitation to visit our beautiful country. And during their trip, they will join me in visiting Bogota, as well as the Caribbean and Pacific regions of Cartagena and Cali. And in this vice vibrant location, they will have the exceptional opportunity to engage with leaders, youth, and women who embody the aspirations and voices of Colombians committed to progress. And in addition to these meaningful interactions, they will experience the rich heritage of Colombia. Yeah, the Archwell Foundation, which was founded by the Duke and Duchess, is renowned for its global leadership in fostering a safer online environment. Okay, so first of all, we're going to discuss that whole online environment in video number two. Let me just say that these countries are not just arbitrarily reaching out to Harry and Meghan. People at Archwell are reaching out to these countries. And I find it interesting that this country is not a Commonwealth country. Guess they couldn't get any of them to pony up. Remember, we had heard that the king was going to try to stop Commonwealth country tours. But I want to go back now and take a look at their Nigerian royal tour because that's what it was all but in name. Now remember, their tour to Nigeria was supposed to be because Harry was the patron of the Invictus Games. And this was supposed to be a tour for the Invictus Games. But we all know that that's not what it was. It became the Meghan Markle show. Remember that since they've left the royal family, it's the royal family that would check and tell them the, the culture they're going to see, the outfits they should be wearing. And they're calling Meghan Markle's you know, royal tour a success in Nigeria. Truth is, it was anything but. We are aware that while they were in Nigeria, they went to multiple events and Meghan was usually dressed in inappropriate clothing. But here's one meal that they went to. And Harry was trying to line up with people to, you know, get into the picture and try to nudge Megan over and Megan wasn't moving. And Harry's face towards the end, you could see he was getting irritated. You could see what was going on. Here it is again. Look at Harry's face. Yeah. You're nothing but an afterthought. Later on that same day, Megan was getting gifts and she was literally just handing them to Harry. Harry was being used to hand the gifts and Megan's like, oh my God, I just love this. It's just so beautiful. Oh goodness, thank you, thank you. It's just fabulous. And now look at Harry's face. I mean, this was the Megan show. This is supposed to be an Invictus event. This is all supposed to be for Invictus. Here's Harry's face again. Here's another event that they went to together. And Harry shakes the guy's hand and then backs off 
so that Megan can go through, shake everybody's hand, say hello, and Harry's just standing there once again, fiddling with his tie, fiddling with his jacket. Here it is a little closer up for you. Watch Harry. He's just like standing there, fiddling with his jacket, fiddling with his tie. Mm -hmm. The one video that really gets me is this one, because when you look at Harry at the end, it's like the penny finally dropped and he realizes he's not needed there. Uh-huh. I am sure we are going to see a repeat of the incessant, inappropriate hand-holding that will take place during the entire tour. The completely inappropriate clothing, especially that Megan wore to a school that simulated like she was naked. Everything that she wore was tight, showed her back, her chest, her arms, and in one case, the, the slit was up her thigh. How about when she was walking through the room and she decided to flash everybody her breast and her nipple because she was dressed inappropriately? How much bronzer is she going to put on this next trip? Because we know here, this was what her back color was, and then here is what her face color was. Towards the end of the trip, I think Harry began to realize, as you can see from the look on his face, that he had been made, you know, inadequate. I have absolutely no doubt that the two of them will be brought in first class on a private jet. I have absolutely no doubt that they'll once again get a ridiculously expensive suite with their own cook, which is what they had in Nigeria, which is why they did not eat out of the hotel. I, it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that they probably brought their own food. And let's not forget, Megan had to have top security. You think this is photoshopped. This is not a photoshopped picture. That is her security standing behind her at a closed event. Uh-huh. And I am going to predict with 99.9% .9 accuracy that she's going to bring Mason Harriman along <laughs> to take all the photos. So Colombia it is, and both the United States and UK governments have advised against travel to that country unless it's essential. Now, again, not a Commonwealth country. Again, Harry is pushing for that UK security because the UK is so dangerous. Here are some stats for you about the crime levels in Colombia. Isn't that where, like, a lot of cocaine comes from? Well, you know, Harry should be in heaven. Maybe that's part of the deal. We come to your country. You give me free drugs. <laughs> Sorry. In all seriousness, Colombia produces over 60% of the world's cocaine. Now, a former Royal Protection Officer who served Harry's family for several years actually said, and I'm quoting, they have chosen to visit one, if not the most dangerous countries in the world, but nothing amazes me with Harry and Meghan these days. The fact that he's willing to live in the United States, travel to Nigeria, and travel to Colombia while he's claiming the UK is too dangerous, I think is very telling. He wants his UK security back so that he doesn't have to pay for private security anymore. Because after all, the Foreign Office said about Colombia that terrorists are very likely to try and carry out attacks while he's there. The UK government warned kidnapping rates in Colombia remain high and also added that illegal arms groups kidnap hostages for ransom and political purposes. But he has no problem taking his wife there. What I mean, it's so obvious he's playing games with the UK. Let me also just say that, of course, while the family is on vacation for the summer at Balmoral, this is when Harry and Meghan decide to make this announcement. I think we all know this has probably been in the works, but of course, this is the typical attention-grabbing, childish behavior <laughs> that they do. I have no doubt that this tour is going to be a complete bomb, just like the Nigerian tour was. Like, Seriously, I'm not trying to be mean, you guys, but these two, really, you know what to do. Put those comments down and then follow me over to video number two. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go.